Hello again. Nice to be here with you. I hope you had a wonderful day or you're having actually a wonderful day. <clears throat> Today, I just want to briefly <clears throat> explain or tell, talk about, uh, I think, best ways in which we can study and pass um, theory questions in biology using your SSC, okay, SSC or YEC theory questions. Let's see how, what are the best um, approach we can take, um, best response to studying for um, theories and also prepare yourself for um, a good grade in your theory questions. Um, I would like to start with the first one. There are some um, um, tips I will want to give to you. Um, please just pay attention to just a few of these tips and I believe it is actually going to do you good and is going to really help you out in studying and preparing for the forthcoming um, SSC 2024 examination. All right, um, the first thing I would like to tell you while studying for and um, preparing is please study using your YX syllables, okay? It is very, very important you use the YX syllables. Now, in the YX syllables, um, questions, oh, sorry, topics are lined out, uh, actually um, lined out where questions will be drawn out from. And um, this gives you um, a, 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 a head start or it gives you a view of um, areas you will be expecting questions to actually come from. Now, if you look at um, the theory question, biology is actually divided into several papers. We have um, paper one, which is actually objective. We have paper two, which is actually the theory questions. And then paper three is practicals. Now, when you go through your YX syllables, you are going to see um, areas you have to read for the objective, areas you have to read for the theory, and areas you have to concentrate on for practicals. So um, when you are actually preparing for any exam, even UTME and also YEC, please lay hold on um, the syllables. The syllables is actually a guide that helps you um, um, prepare effectively for the upcoming exams, okay? So please, if you don't have it, do well to get it. You can get it online and so many other places. Please do well to get the syllables and start studying. Another tip also that will help you actually prepare and study for um, um, YEC, mostly as it relates to biology, is study using your, um, using past questions. Okay, use past questions. Past questions are, are very effective when studying. You know, when you use past questions frequently, you work with several years uh, of past questions, you will discover and spot out repeated topics. You will spot out repeated topics, and these are repeated questions. And these repeated questions also help to guide your own uh, pattern of reading and help you prepare effectively. So you, you will now have an idea of how they set questions in YEC and how you should also answer these questions. It's very, very important you get hold of past questions. And good a thing, we have exam guide app. You can also download it from your Play Store. It helps, it also has the features of giving you past questions and also answers to these effective and correct answers to these past questions. You're going to see how actually to write these um, um, theory uh, questions, mostly as it relates to biology. I'm just talking based on biology. So please get a hold of past questions questions, study alongside with your past questions. You have your syllables, you have also your wired past questions, um, past questions, keep doing it, keep going over and over. The more you keep um, um, testing yourself using these past questions, it enables you, it helps you a lot, it checks, it helps to check your speed, it also helps to check accuracy in how you answer and effectiveness in how you answer these questions, okay? So this is very, very important. Also, when studying, number three is when you are actually studying, please take note 
note of diagrams as it relates to theory questions and even practical questions as it relates to biology. Please take note of diagram. When studying, please take note of diagram. There are several um, theory questions where you will be asked to draw um, some um, structures or some um, um, diagrams of so many um, organisms and all the others, for instance, you can be asked to draw a diagram of a paramecium, which is a kingdom protista. You can be asked to draw the diagram of, um, of, of euglena. You can be asked to draw the diagram of a cell, a plant cell or an animal cell. You can also be asked to draw the diagram of gametes, the male gametes. Um, as the sperm cells, you can also be asked to draw the front view of the female reproductive system. So these are several areas you might be asked to draw um, certain things. So please, when you are actually studying and preparing for your exam, take note of diagrams. As it relates to biology, please take note of diagrams. And please also, whenever you are drawing your diagrams in, um, in, in your questions or when attempting questions, theory questions in WIAC, please take note of some important facts. One, please take note of the title. Take note of the title. The title is usually not written at the top of, it's not written before the diagram, no. The title comes immediately immediately after the diagram, below it, okay? When you write it at the top, it is considered to be a heading, but when you write it below, it is considered a title. And please, whenever you're writing a title, let your title go alongside with the view, with the view. What view are you drawing with? It can be a lateral view, it can be a dorsal view, it can be um, a ventral view, it can be a posterior or anterior view. Also, please take note of the view. And also, if you are making a section, for instance, in terms of practicals, if you're making any section, also take note of what the section, the view of that particular section. And also when drawing, take note of size is very important. Take note of the size, take note of the magnification, take note of clarity of lines. Your lines should be clear. And also take note of neatness of lines. Now, neatness of lines may ensure that when drawing your labeled lines, let all the labeled lines be horizontal. And please make use of a ruler to uh, make those lines. Use a rule to make those lines. All should be horizontal. It shouldn't be slant. It shouldn't be vertical. It shouldn't be diagonal. No way. Please, every Everything should be horizontal. So this is also another important tip on how to actually prepare and study. Also, while you're actually reading, you can try as much as possible to do some diagrams on your own in terms of practicing and then see how you can ensure that these tips I have mentioned concerning your diagrams, you follow them. And I, I believe you're going to also do well when you apply these um, tips. And then number four, when one other way to prepare yourself or to study, well, to, to study and actually pass your exam is that when, they, when, when you see a question, a past question, whether past question or the present one that is coming when you're in your exam hall and all the others, please follow instructions follow instruction is very very key and is very important you follow instructions whatever they ask you to do and whatever is required of you ensure you follow it as it is required for instance you can be um, um, uh, asked to um, mention and um, uh, sorry, 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 let me put this way, list and explain. Please don't just um, list it and start explaining alongside your list, okay? No, what you, they expect from you is you make the list. After you make the list from those lists, let's say you have about five lists, and then from the five lists, you pick one and do a little explanation of it. You pick the second, you make a little explanation of it. You pick the third. So that is how to answer that particular question. And also when you are asked to describe or briefly explain, briefly explain or write a short note on any topic, please do not define. Definition is not the same thing as explanation. It is not the same thing. So please take note of this. These are most common errors students actually make or candidates actually make when answering questions. 
questions. Please be careful about that and also learn to improve on your spellings. In biology, your spelling must be correct for you to get a particular score. Your spelling must be correct to get a score. So these are a few of the tips I think will really help you while studying for the upcoming WIAC and mostly in terms of that biology in question. And I believe you're going to do well if you apply these ones. Bye for now. Have a nice day. Thank <music> you.